Tesla, taking it for a test drive um, soon. I'm gonna, I'm, well, I'm considering about getting a different car. I've had my range for coming up to two years, and obviously around the two year mark is when you tend to, uh, to swap the car. Um, so I've been contemplating the Tesla. So originally, um, I was looking at either getting the range or the Model X, um, and I opted for the range because it was my dream car as a kid. Um, but man, these Teslas, I don't know if anybody's ever driven one of these Teslas here, man. They're so smooth, so smooth. We're in the Model 3 today. Um, and as I said, yeah, it's just, it's effortless. It's the best way I can describe it. It's smooth, it's clean. Um, I actually really like it. I really, really like it. What do you think? I think it's nice. Hi, I'm the wife, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm with my, uh, my darling wife. Um, what color would you get? Um, do you know, any of the three, to be fair, I, I would never ever get a red car, apart from if it's like a Ferrari, maybe. Um, but I would never really, I don't really like red cars. Um, so yeah, white, black, or that blue. And what about the interior? Because yeah, currently yeah. it's it's yeah, black, black at the moment. Yeah. And I think it's quite nice, actually. Yeah. But, but, but I think the white is a little bit more elite type, yeah. type of thing. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, yeah, so the range now is cream interior. The Merc before was like a red interior. So that was the best interior. You reckon? Yeah. Better than the range? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think red interior. Oh my gosh, it was so nice. Yeah, you was in love with that one, yeah? I was, yeah, I was actually. But yeah, I think being in the Tesla today genuinely is quite nice. Like, I think it suits you for sure. Do you reckon? Mm -hmm. It really does. My old number. Anybody that's ever, if there's anybody that owns a, um, sorry, if, if there's anybody that, oh, wow, gosh, sorry, that was old, a few potholes. We're in Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's, um, if anybody owns a Tesla or has any experience with Teslas and stuff, let me know what you think, uh, whether this would be a good car to get or not. Um, obviously, you need to kind of figure out the whole battery situation. Uh, we'll have to get something installed at home um, to charge it. Yeah, and my wife is always complaining because my battery like my fuel on my car is always like empty um, no. yeah so i can't really do that with a battery can i no because then you're gonna get stuck on the motorway yeah but yeah no first impressions really good really smooth i like the car and it suits you so you keep saying <laughs> tech is unbelievable like you control the whole car with like sliding like thingies and I like how big the screen is. And it's minimal in it, like, there's nothing else. It's so nice. Really, really nice. Playing against West Brom today. Um, haven't checked the score yet, but yeah. Um, yeah. Don't know what more to say. It's a bit loud, so I hope you can hear me. But yeah, no. Yeah, no. Q2 is looking good. Uh, got some plans. There's a couple of things that we want to like start doing that we haven't actually been doing, um, and I really want to take my social media to that next level as well. So, if there's anything that you guys want to see more. Um, on my videos then please let me know in the comments um, uh, yeah I need to get a trim I always need to get a trim on it
Right, what's going on guys? Um, just had a delivery from Amazon that I put in yesterday. I really wanted to upgrade my equipment. I've got some ideas um, in terms of things that I wanna do on the YouTube channel and I think that I needed to make some updates. So I'm gonna show you what I've bought when I've purchased from Amazon. Uh, yeah. Right, I know I've said mind the mess. I'm gonna clean that up after. I'm gonna clean that up after I've done the um, the unboxing, but yeah. Let me show you what I've got. I'll put this to the side for now. So yeah, got myself a Rode pod mic. I'll be explaining that in a minute as to why I've got one of these. Got our cable. Uh, and also, I'm trying to hide my address. I hear there's some weird people on the internet. Also got one of these bad boys. interface the other thing i've got that i put to the side is basically just a it's just an arm really or a microphone stand um but yeah i am like really excited about this uh two bits of equipment um yeah let me try and connect it up and let's see where we're at. set up um, is because I really want to take my content creation or my, the, my, my level of content up and I think audio is something that I've currently been um, struggling with um, I can always like the most of most of my content that I put out I actually don't like because of the uh, because of the audio especially on Instagram I really don't like it um, however I thought I'd invest uh, get a decent microphone um, for certain types of content, I've got a workaround for the other types of content um, that you're going to see. But even some of the videos that I want to be doing on here, on YouTube, um, you guys will see. So I'm going to just record this so that you guys can hear the difference. Is that recording? No, it's not. Multi track session not active. Uh, one second. <clears throat> um, if I pull. Uh Six and a half hours later. Right. One eternity later. Right, so it was actually recording all the while. Um, yes. So one of the main reasons why I've decided to invest in this microphone is because, um, yeah, as I've said previously, some of the content that I've been pushing out on Instagram and even on YouTube, I don't really like. That's not recording. All right, so yeah, um, as I was saying, um, I've got it recording now. It turns out that it was actually recording. I was just, I just don't know what I'm doing, basically. Um, but yeah, all good, all good in the hood. Um, so yeah, so the mic that you can hear right now um, is my camera mic. Um, well, it's not the camera mic, but it's the cam, it's the mic that's attached to the camera um, that I've been using. And I'm gonna switch it to, to this mic now. So you should be able to hear a clear difference. Obviously the room hasn't been treated, but you should still hear um, the difference, really. Um, this is a much better mic. So I thought I'm gonna invest in getting a good microphone. 
and opens up um, a world of other types of videos that I want to make as well. Um, and some other projects as well that I've been meaning to do, but I just haven't had the microphone for it. So I've decided to invest, invest into my equipment um, and let's see where that takes me. Um, so yeah, this is the audio coming out of this microphone here, the one that I've just purchased. I haven't even touched it, um, but now I'm gonna edit it now. Um, and this is the audio um, quality that should be evident from now on. So I've treated it um, and I've added some effect and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to the possibilities. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you think I should be making. Now I've got a decent mic. Um, yeah. Right, so I've just come back from a viewing in Dudley um, in West Midlands for you guys that don't know where that is. Uh, it's just on the outskirts of Birmingham. Um, I went to view a three bed terraced property. It's in an absolute state, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, needs a ton of work, basically a full back to brick refurb. Um, so yeah, let me show you uh, what that house looked like um, and I'll walk you through it. Right, so to begin with, you've got this kitchen, um, which basically doesn't exist. Um, I think this is technically uninhabitable because there is no kitchen. Um, this is the state of it, nothing there. So obviously need a full new kitchen. Um, yeah, can't really get a mortgage on that. So. Uh, that's why it's up for auction this is the living room space um very very old-fashioned with the brickwork and the fireplace these are the lighting fixtures that were in the kitchen um needs to be redone um, and this is the lighting fixture in the living room again very very old-fashioned and needs to be replaced and rewired <clears throat> this is a damp which was by the stairs underneath this well by the stairs yeah landing stairs um very very concerning uh, that needs to be looked at um, and there's a bit of mold here as well by the radiator. This is an old electric fuse box that needs to be replaced. And yep, we're at minus 152 pounds when you purchase the property. This is the state of the boiler, um, hasn't been serviced since COVID 2020. Um, this is upstairs, one of the bedrooms, a very, very good size, if I'm being completely honest. Um, yeah, not much complaints on this. In fact, all three bedrooms were a good size, if I'm being completely honest. Um, really, really good size. Um, got the old fashioned wallpaper, um, which needs to be get ripped out, get taken off. Um, this is the WC next to the bedroom that I've just showed you. Concerning part is the fresh. Uh, concerning part is that there's a fresh toilet roll there one of the radiators um there's like three different types of radiators in the entire property so yeah need a whole new uh, set of radiators got some old-fashioned thermostats i think that's what they are um, i think there's like three in the house which is quite odd um but yeah some of them will probably pass up and some of them will probably get sold as an antique roadshow <laughs> probably make a bit of money this is the back garden um big back garden We've got two outer buildings and the fencing was just absolutely shot. Um, so all the fencing, I think, will probably need to get replaced. And yeah, um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you the downstairs bathroom, which was the family bathroom. Um, I forgot to record. But yeah, it's weird because you open the front door and you're greeted with um, yeah the family bathroom. So I need to figure out if that can be reconfigured, um, if we can take the upstairs and swap it potentially for the WC if there's enough space. Um, so yeah, that's one thing that I definitely need to look at. And then the damp issue, which was quite concerning uh, by the stairs. There wasn't any damp issues in the toilet, which was the one that was directly above, which obviously kind of indicates that there's a problem with the plumbing system for the uh, with the toilet um, that's what that looks like um, and the mold will probably need to get looked at um, I'm hoping it's nothing too serious so yeah needs a new kitchen new bathroom back to brick full refurb um, needs rewiring um, the strip out has kind of been done just need to rip out like the brickworks and uh, the rest of the kitchen and that kind of stuff bathroom uh, not bathroom sorry um, the back garden um, is going to be a bit costly uh, probably rip out those two um, whatever they are I don't even know what they are they're not sheds um, I don't know what you call them um, yeah man I'm gonna run the numbers because I didn't get a chance to run the numbers I've literally just got back and said yeah listen let me show you what that looks like um, yeah this, these are the kind of properties that we're looking for ones that need a ton of work where we can add some value um, so yeah I'll do the costings and see where that 
leads us and then i'll obviously need to compare what else has been sold within the area so yeah i appreciate you guys tuning in i'm gonna sign off here um yeah man thank you